Believe it or not, eating high calorie whole foods will help you lose weight. How? Well, in the end, it's not about like usually in the like in the health industry, it's a use people used to think that if you know calories in, calories out. If you eat more, you get, you gain more weight. But it turns out that that is the, that simple equation is not actually true because certain foods will actually get you to store fat and stop releasing it. And one of those foods is sugar and refined carbs. Anything that spikes your blood sugar really high is going to trigger your body to store fat and not release it. And then what happens is because you ate a whole bunch in your of sugar and your body goes into the spike, what happens? And then all your energy gets stored. You then don't release it. So you actually start to get hungry sooner. And even though you don't actually need those, that energy, right? Because it's somewhere in, in your body, you have all that stored energy, fat, stored fat, which is stored energy. Um, but because your body won't release it, you need to eat more, um, and especially more carbs because those are the most fast available energy to get more energy and not get a slump or tired or fatigued. So it's not just about eating um, less, which can be good news. You don't have to starve yourself. It's more about steering um, yourself to eat more whole high calorie foods. And by high calorie foods, I mean more healthy fats. I mean more healthy proteins and fiber. Um, in all that, you can reduce the blood sugar spike, which um, helps you stop storing and um, storing and hoarding fat, really, um, which will allow you to start burning it um, as fuel. You'll notice you don't necessarily get as hungry all the time because you can use the energy you have eaten or stored more easily. And the great news is you don't necessarily have to go full on keto to get in ketosis um, and start ketosis is where you start releasing your fat so you can actually start um, burning it. You can just eat more um, slow carbs, which are basically carbs that are slowly released. These slow carbs have more fibers involved. They're basically more whole foods um, that are, and then the, the energy is released more slowly and therefore reducing your spike. The other thing you can do is um, when you do have sweeter things is to have them with um, healthy fats and proteins because these also help reduce the spike. So when it comes to um, you know wanting to lose weight, which I get um, because it can be really uncomfortable to hold on to things that are not serving you, um, don't necessarily think about calories in, calories out. Think about the quality of your food and reducing the blood sugar spike through slow carbs and increasing your healthy fats and proteins. All right. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're like, what? But fat makes you fat. Uh, let me know your thoughts. I definitely want to hear them in the comments so we can chat more about all this.